Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Jamie Reacts. I'm Jonathan, and today I will be reacting to The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 4. Uh, now, last time on, we had the whole episode dedicated to Bill and Frank. Um, a pretty heart wrenching episode and a roller coaster of emotions, by all means. Uh, but we left off with Joel and Ellie driving to Wyoming, I think. I don't remember. They're driving to find uh, Joel's brother, which now I can't think of his name. Is it Billy? Tommy, Tommy, that's what his name is, Tommy's the name, um, so anyway, that's where we're at, and I am ready to get to this episode, so I'm not going to waste any more time, if you'd like to show your support, you can like, subscribe, or even join my Patreon, we have options for polls, full reactions, and up to four weeks of early access, so if you're interested in that at all, the link will be in the description down below, and with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into this episode. We have to do this Siphoning thing. gas? Gas breaks down over time, this stuff's almost water. Huh, okay. It's a siphon. When liquid travels against gravity because pressure. You don't know. I know it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't explain to you how that stuff works either. No matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. <laughs> no pun intended. Well, him too, but we'll live instead. <laughs> what did the mermaid wear to her math class? An algae bra. <laughs> algae bra. She's so, she's so funny. I love her so much. Sir, uh, light on the reading, but it has some interesting pictures. No, no, no. Put that back. That's not for kids. How do you even walk around with that thing? <laughs> I don't want to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> Why are all these pages stuck together? Uh, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> she's so funny, man. What am I even eating? That is 20 year old Chef Boyardee ravioli. That guy was good. I agree. <laughs> so, can we start a fire? I'm freezing. Now, why am I going to tell you no? Because infected will see the smoke. No, fungus isn't that smart. This is too remote for infected anyway. For people to see it? People? No, too remote for the infected so they don't, they don't hang around in the woods. Because you'd figure, like, fungus could be fine in the. In the wilderness, right? Oh no, not the puns. Not the puns! You can't escape him! Joe! What? Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. Why did the scarecrow get an award? <laughs> because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> you did! <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. There's no way anyone knows we're here, right? No one's gonna find us. No one's gonna find us. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that's honestly the scarier part, man. Like, people are savages, and... Infected are scary, but man, I... I, I think I would be more afraid of the actual people. At least you can kind of predict what the the infected are gonna do. Stayed out on watch all night. Why isn't he with you? Long story. Is it longer than twenty five hours? Because I think that's what we got. Well, I wonder if the she he's gonna tell her about the daughter thing ever. You got it pretty early if you want to grab more sleep. I'm not even tired. <laughs> I hope he gets over that whole cargo thing eventually. I mean, I'm sure he will. I, I, I'm sure he will. But it kind of sucks that he still thinks of her as cargo. Well, I don't think he really does, but I think he just kind of says that to try to convince even himself. Around this tunnel. Take the next ramp. And we're back on the road minute tops. Somehow that's going to go horribly. Just some sort of trap or something? Oh no. Is that the QZ? Where the fuck is Fedra? Hey! Oh no, that's a trap. This is a trap. This is a trap. Are we gonna help him? No.
Ah, uh, no, that's not good at all. Okay. Get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. I don't trust that. When I say go, you crawl to that wall and you squeeze through and you don't come out until I say, okay? I'm not gonna hit you. Okay. Low, you stay quiet. Mm -hmm. I, I love how she just is. She pretty much is just on board with what he says, and she does it pretty much to a T normally. Alright, Joel, let's see what you got, buddy. Already got one up. got him yeah that can't be it right oh Ellie she's gonna use the gun I mean it, it might end up being good but okay end up saving him I guess all right, that's a good thing that she had it. Oh man, she is such a badass. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's over. We're not fighting anymore. I'm gonna go home. I'll tell everyone you're good. I don't know what to do. Oh, she's she's gonna try to kill. She's gonna try to kill her. She's gonna try to kill her. Um, is it far? If you can get me to her. Man, Joel's gonna shoot this man. No, no problem. He's gonna shoot this man. It's hard to get mad at her because she literally just did save your life. But you can have it. It's a good knife. Get back behind the wall. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please. We can just talk. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please. No, no, no. Please. No. Don't waste your bullets, right? Ellie, I gotta get in there. I can't fit through. <sighs> wow, that was a scene. Mmm, they have cars. You can get one of them. So these guys took over the QZ or... Or shot it up or killed everyone? was beaten to death. Oh, you were wronged. Oh, was this guy part of Fedra? When you were safe and protected and ratting on your neighbors to Fedra. They put a gun to my head. Hmm. Here. I never told them anything about your brother. But Henry did. I'm your doctor. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I was supposed to know who these people are. These are probably two new characters. She a part of these people who took over the QZ? Found a truck loaded. It's not a Fedra vehicle, but they were heavily supplied. Could be Mercs. Well, if Henry has a radio. Well, they were trying to kill. <laughs> they were trying to get him first. She the leader of these people? Doctor. There's no chance. I'm sorry. Well, they did try to literally kill Joel and Ellie first, or at least rob them. So I mean. They kind of brought that on themselves. Henry's work. Understand? Who the flip is Henry? Until we stop him. Find who did this. Find every- That guy looks cool. I like his beard. Are you alright? Yeah. Trying to be tough. He is I didn't hear that guy coming. You shouldn't have had to have, you know. But you're glad I did, right? You're just a kid. 
You should know what it means to. I'm not good at this. Yeah, you really aren't. <laughs> you shouldn't have had to. And I'm sorry. Oh, that's sweet. It wasn't my first time. Oh, wow. Man. Gonna give her a gun? All right, this is a big step. Uh-oh. You put it in your pack. You shoot your damn ass off. <laughs> that was a really good scene. I, I was a nice, you know, bonding scene for the two of them. A lot of growth in that scene. What the heck? What the flip? What the heck is that? Seal off the building for now. What's going on? Okay. Yeah. I I'm so confused. How did you know it was an ambush? I've been on both sides. Gotcha. Did you kill innocent people? Hmm. Come on. That pretty much answered it. You sure you're gonna hear it? Of course I'll hear it. That's the damn point. <laughs> I thought it was to stab people, but I guess if people are wearing boots, it wouldn't really matter. And if it's infected, it would not like they would really matter either. So I guess it is just for sound. I don't know how I'd ever be able to sleep in this world. I, I already have. I already have a hard time falling asleep. I don't think I could sleep in this world for sure. Hmm. Man, she is so observant. From shooting. So if you want to keep your hearing, you stick to that knife. Did you know diarrhea is hereditary? What? Runs in the genes. It runs in your genes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little smile there. <laughs> That's a good scene. Oh, That's sweet. That's his right side. That's his right side. He can't hear. Joel. Joel. Is this Henry? That's not good. I'm assuming that's probably Henry. I mean, it's definitely the people that were staying up in that uh, area. Um, and he definitely said, like, yeah, I think it is Henry because he said Henry will never let Sam starve, referring to, I'm assuming, a kid. So that makes sense. So that's probably, that is probably Henry. Um, I don't know exactly what that whole situation is about. Um, but it seems like that whole city has been taken over by a group of people that were at least at one point in the QZ. But not the fireflies, so that's interesting. So this episode was like nothing to do with infected, pretty much at all, and pretty much everything to do with humans, which is honestly probably worse than the effect infected. It's animals, uh, people just kind of become savages. I mean, you know, you think about it. I mean, just in you know, slight times and slight hard time, people just turn into savages, and you can only imagine in a situation like this what would happen. And um, so yeah, I mean really people can be the real danger in situations like this and uh we definitely saw that this episode um but this episode was really cool to see with as far as the development of the relationship between ellie and um joel um i i really enjoyed the you know just the small things like them joking around or them driving listening to music like it just it keeps building that and then they keep sharing information with each other though so they keep getting closer and closer until eventually you know she's not just cargo to him you know what i mean and eventually it's going to get closer and they're going to be like like father daughter which 
is going to be, I mean, that, that just makes sense as a natural progression from what we've known from the story so far with him losing his daughter and her being an orphan. And I, I just, I really enjoyed the chemistry of this episode. You know, uh, we found out a little bit about Ellie um, and how she has hurt people before. I don't know if it's implied that she's killed someone before or not, uh, but this episode she did obviously shoot someone and Joel ended up killing that person. Um, but, um, I mean, definitely she can still feel responsible for that. Um, we learned a little bit about Joel and his past and how whenever everything kind of started, he was with some probably not so good people and did some not so good things to survive. Um, that's where he met Tess and he was with Tommy and all, all apparently different people as well. Um, so we learned about two of our main uh, protagonists and it was, that's always a good thing. Um, but anyway, so they're stuck in the city with now being held up by Henry and the, the Sam, I think is his name. Um, they, they, with these people who have a lot of guns and a lot of vehicles, but we, they kind of showed this little thing of like cracks in the ground. I didn't really understand. I thought they were talking about provi provisions and stuff like that. Um, but it looked like there was something moving under the ground, which that does not sound good at all. I don't know what that is. Is it something with the infected? But whatever it is, it had them scared. So that's kind of concerning. But I don't really understand exactly what that is. But I'm sure we'll find out soon. Uh, but they don't have a truck anymore. Um, obviously, that got crushed and crashed, not crushed, and shot up. And I assume not drivable anymore. But, you know, they do have these other people's trucks. So they can probably probably somehow steal these trucks i don't know i mean it's a better option than a lot of other options um but you know it sucks that they don't have a truck anymore because they still got a while ago they're in kansas city right now is that where they're at um and they're still trying to get to wyoming so um i don't know exactly how they're going to get out of this because this it is you I mean they're currently like in the city full of these people uh and i imagine it's pretty hard to move without them someone finding out um but anyway so, uh, I don't know who this Henry person is, but again, um, whoever it is, they want to find them, um, and kill them, I assume. So, um, that's not good. Hopefully, somehow, an alliance might be able to be made between these two. Maybe they can help each other out of the situation, but I don't know. I don't know anything about this situation, but, but yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I mean, I really, like I said, I really am, enjoyed this episode for, like, the relationship building between Ellie and Joel, um just so fun to watch both of them on screen and i just love the moments where they're just talking it's just great um and it, the 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 bond is growing with every episode and it, it's really it's a really cool thing to watch you know it's great great actors by the way um and, and i just i can't wait for that to develop more um because you know you can see joel getting a soft spot for her and you know he keeps saying oh she's just cargo just cargo but obviously we know that that's not true um he, he, even now he definitely doesn't think like that but he just kind of wants to not get attached i assume um but it's obviously not 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 working so uh yeah i don't really have much else to say guys uh, so i think i'm just gonna leave it there all right guys this has been jmo reacts if you enjoyed hit that like button down below and comment any suggestions on what you might want to see me react to next and with that being said i will see you guys in the next video